Welcome to Variables and Expressions, where we're going to review what you've learned in the past. You have learned this in the past, but it's probably a little bit rusty, so we're going to continue right on. It says evaluate the expression for the given variable, x plus 9, for x equals negative 2. Whenever I evaluate an expression, the first thing I need to do is substitute the value for the variable in for the expression. So there you see it. I have negative 2 plus 9. Negative 2 plus 9 is going to give me 7. The signs were different. Find the difference. Keep the sign of the larger number. In number 2, it says negative 4 times t. That's what that means, negative 4t. For t equals 3 fourths. Negative 4 times 3 fourths. You can multiply that right on your calculator to try it out, or I can just put negative 4 over 1 and multiply straight across. That gives me negative 12 over 4. Negative 12 over 4 simplifies to negative 3. Remember, when I'm dividing, if the signs are different, I get a negative. We learned that in the last lesson, right? Now you're going to try one. This is a simple, straightforward, one-step evaluation. Substitute negative 42 in for x, and hopefully you can simplify it, or in other words, divide negative 42 by 7. Look for your answer in the multiple choice. Now we have two steps here, or more. So that means we have to use the order of operations to simplify. We're still going to start the same way. If you see a value for a variable, you substitute that in first. So for this first one, I have 1 third x plus 4, and x equals negative 6. Substitute negative 6 in for x. Now, order of operations says to always multiply before adding and subtracting. So the first thing I do is 1 third times negative 6, and I get negative 2. Then I rewrite my plus 4 because I haven't used it yet. And negative 2 plus 4 is 2. On to number 2. This looks a little bit more complicated, but it really isn't. Again, you start by simplifying, or sorry, you start by substituting negative 2 in for w. Negative 2 plus 10, and then on the bottom you get negative 2 minus 4. On the top, the signs are different, so I find the difference. Keep the sign of the larger number, which is 10. On the bottom, the signs are the same, so I add them and keep the sign. I should get 8 over negative 6, which simplifies to 4 over negative 3 or negative 4 thirds. Now you try one. This doesn't have the order of operations, but I do want you to remember that this exponent is negative 3. So it's not the exponent. The base of the exponent is negative 3. The base of the exponent is negative 3. So that entire value, negative 3, is brought to the second power. And remember, in order of operations, exponents come before multiplying and dividing. See if you can find your answer. Evaluate each expression below for x equals negative 10 and x equals negative 3. In this first problem, you'll notice it's kind of like an associative problem. Um, asso associative property problems. So in other words, I'm going to substitute in. Oh, sorry, I went too fast. I want you to try these because they're straightforward, but substitute in and you should notice that you get the exact same answer for both. Now try this one. You should get the same exact answer for both. See what you get. Now it says use the distributive property to evaluate the expressions. First, start by distributing negative 2 throughout. And when you do that, you get negative 6x plus 8. There's nothing more to do because these are not like terms. I can't simplify them anymore, and I don't know the value of x. This one I distribute by dividing everything by 3. And I get 3y plus 4, because 9y divided by 3 is 3y, and 12 divided by 3 is 4. Again, I can't simplify any more than that, so I leave it as it is. Please try distributing this, and then see if your answer is to the right. Hopefully you're understanding this, 
The next thing you're going to do is practice this in a computer game called Rags to Riches. It's just a quick video game to check your skills. Good luck.